Hello and welcome back to Gapey's Greenhouse. Today we're going to be pruning back our peppers, something that I do every fall to help the pods that are already set mature more quickly. So let's get started. Unfortunately, I had some technical difficulties with the rest of the audio that are in these clips, so I'm going to be doing a voiceover. So this here is my monkey face red pepper. It's got lots of ripe peppers as well as quite a few green ones. So what I'm going to do is trim back this pepper so that all that's left on there is the fruit that is set that might have a chance to ripen before the end of the season. So I'm going to be removing all of those top branches that have no fruit set. Um, so that'll get rid of any flowers that are on the plant so that no, no energy is really being focused on trying to produce new peppers. So hopefully that will get these green peppers to ripen more quickly. And we're really towards the end of the season. So there's not a whole lot of time left for these to ripen. So I want them to ripen as soon as possible. So I'm also removing any small peppers on the plant and any yellow leaves that might be on the plant or any other. Um, so this here is a little, looks like a, a flower stem that just kind of fell off onto the plant and it's getting kind of almost moldy. So I just remove that um, and any other any other really discolored leaves or stems or flowers that might be sitting on the plant. So at this time of year, it gets really humid because of all the rain that we get and not a whole lot of sun this time of year. So, oops. So this is an example where I accidentally picked off a pepper pod that I didn't actually mean to. And it's not the first time that it's happened. So you do really have to be careful and look where you're cutting because that may happen. So this one probably would have ripened if I hadn't cut it off. So I'm gonna bring it inside and see if it'll ripen um, on the counter, which sometimes it, it will still ripen. So I'm just gonna try and be more careful where I'm cutting and try not to get any more pods taken off. So this has a lot of growth on it that doesn't have any peppers set on it. So this plant is gonna look a lot different after I get done pruning all of these branches off. You can see here, I think this is probably from some humidity damage, but this stem has a little brown spot that I'm showing, which is really um, not a good thing. So once the humidity really gets picking up, you might find some mold or discoloration in the flowers and stems like that, and you wanna remove all of, the, all of that moldy kind of bad stems off of the plant so that it doesn't spread. So I'm just gonna be pruning and pruning this guy and it's gonna look very different when I'm done and hopefully it will have time to ripen the remaining peppers that are on it. And this is the only time of year I really do any pepper pruning um, during the growing season. I do some pruning when I, get, when I transplant the peppers. I've, I've got some transplanting pepper videos that you can go back and check out but I do some pruning of the lower leaves only when I'm transplanting. Um, so that's really the only time I, I do any pruning. And I'm also going to look at the bottom of this plant and prune off any lower branches that are not setting any fruit or really just not doing anything. So the plant is looking much better now that I've gotten most of those those branches off and I'm going to be going through and doing this to every single pepper plant that I've got still in the greenhouse. I've already taken out some of the peppers that were done producing or just didn't have any pods that were big enough to ripen before the end of the season because I've got to get my fall crops planted in the greenhouse. Um, so I'll be doing some of that and I'll show you what I've, what I've got planting um, that I'll be putting in after the peppers get removed. So you really just got to dig deep down in there and make sure you remove all those, all those unproductive branches. So here we're going to be just removing a few of those lower leaves that aren't, aren't doing anything. 
So this pepper is looking pretty good. We've got, you know, you're not going to find any flowers left on this plant and pretty much all the branches are now taken off that don't have any pod set. Um, we're just going to go through and kind of fine tune a few branches here and there, but we're pretty much done now. Um, hopefully these guys will be able to finish ripening. So we've got about two, I'm guessing maybe about two weeks left of the season. Um, maybe less. We'll see how the, the forecast holds. So this is the orange ripple plant. And this is one of those peppers that took a really long time to get any pods. And it's now fully loaded with pods. There's tons and tons of peppers on it, but only a couple have ripened so far. But the rest of them look like they're they're about the right size to be ripe, so they should be ripening any time. So I've got a lot of growth to remove from the plant that has tons of flowers on it that just won't have time to mature. So we're going to really cut this one back, and it's going to look a lot different when we're done. So here is a pile of all of the branches and leaves that I removed from one pepper plant. So that's a lot of energy that is going to be saved from going into all of these flowers and, and branches that just aren't going to produce. So hopefully we see some more ripe peppers in the coming weeks. So here's a look at the peppers after being pruned. This is the Chinense side of the greenhouse. So I've actually only got three peppers left in the ground. I've already removed the others and I've planted some fall crops of pak choy and mustard and kale. So we've got the giant habanero there with three pods and we've got the Tennessee blackout here which I cut back quite a bit. So we've got three pods left on that one and then our BBG bubblegum Tabasco crust still has lots of pods left on it. So those are the only three I've got left on that side of the greenhouse. Uh, we still have quite a bit of peppers on the other side of the greenhouse that are loaded with fruit and are just waiting to finish ripening. Um, our violet sparkle here has lots of pods that are just starting to ripen so those should be ready to pick here pretty soon. Um, here is our orange ripple and I it's been a couple days about five days since I did the pruning so we're starting to see some more ripe fruit coming on here. Here's one that's just starting to turn ripe um, and we've got a few more that should be ripening up here pretty soon. And then here's our monkey face red. Uh, we still have quite a few green pods on there. Um, I don't see any starting to ripen yet, but we've got some that I think picking some of this ripe fruit will also help in getting the rest of these to ripen up. So I'm going to be picking out all those red um, peppers here today and we'll see if that helps. So that's it for the pepper pruning for this year. I still have the outside peppers to do, but the greenhouse is looking good and we should have a few more weeks left to get these ripe. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.